Guys, the Husky EE2 news just keeps getting better and better. This little bike, super cool, and looks like it definitely will be replacing the PW50 as the young rider's first machine. And here are more details that I know some of you have been waiting to. The big detail I want to mention first is price. Uh, we know the E5 feels a little steep to a lot of parents at over five grand. The, it's been speculated this bike could be 3,500. The good news is I'm here to tell you that this bike is going to MSRP at 2199. Now I know some of you guys are probably trying to remember what the PW50 MSRP is for. It's 1700, so 500 bucks more than a PW50. But what else do we know about it? We know it's a 36 volt system with up to 100 minutes of runtime. We know it uses kind of like a uh, power tool battery, and uh, that because of this, it's going to be hot swappable. Here's old dad opening. Don't worry about my dirty hands, guys. I've been changing tires on the start. Uh, here's old dad popping the lid, doing a hot swap. More good news is you're going to get up to 80% charge in just 35 minutes. WP suspension, disc brakes, front and rear. I don't know how many of you guys noticed this, but there's no chain and there's no shaft. That's right. It's a hub drive motor. So... Those are really safe. There's no sprockets or anything for anything to get caught in and virtually no maintenance. Now, the bike does have a tip-over sensor, which I like on Weston's SXE5. Uh, the Stark does not have that that I've been riding, which I found interesting. We also know that it's got a display with three power modes, and the fastest power mode will put you just over 20 miles an hour. Most dealers are probably already taking deposits on these, and you're going to start seeing them... Uh, on showroom floors in November. So if you're looking for one, if you're within driving distance of AOMC, get with me, call the dealership, talk to John in sales, put a deposit down on these if you, if you want to get one. Um, would make a great Christmas present.